Leviathan here. When people first see a McLaren, the last thought that probably comes to mind is practical. It has dihedral doors which open up and out. It has expensive carbon fiber trim everywhere and it has active aero in the rear which really make this car a hardcore supercar. However, there's some little features which make this car somewhat practical and today I'm going to show you some tips, tricks and hacks in the McLaren 650S. Starting with the key. When you press the unlock button once, you unlock the driver's side door. Press it again, you unlock the passenger side door. Double tap it, you unlock and unhatch the driver's side door. Press and hold, you unlock and unhatch both doors. Which makes for very graceful entry because you don't have to stumble underneath the door to find that little button. All you have to do is just glide the door open and it looks really graceful. Speaking of entry, the McLaren comes with a feature called Comfort Entry and Exit. When people go into a supercar and they see anything with the words Comfort, they automatically switch it off. I suggest you turn it on. What happens when you enable Comfort Entry and Exit, when you open the doors, the seats regress all the way back to its lowest position to allow for Comfort Entry and Exit. A lot of people complain that it's not easy to get in and out of the McLaren, but with that feature turned on, you can still make it very graceful. extra storage. So inside the cabin of the McLaren you don't get a lot of storage. You don't even get a glove box. But there is a secret storage spot when the roof is down and the only way to access this is through the door. Once you press the up button you reveal the secret storage where you have saddlebags to, to store your things. However I can't imagine ever using this but it's there if you need to. the iris system so unlike the lamborghinis and ferraris which have every single button on the steering wheel you can't control the music system with your steering wheel you have to try and press a button within the iris system and a lot of people complain that you have to take your eyes off the road to find that button however you can also swipe left and right to change tracks and double tapping pauses your track so you don't have to take your eyes off the road Highway driving, okay this is more of a tip rather than a hack or a trick, but to really enjoy this car on the highway, there's a few things you need to do. The first thing is turn on active dynamics, and I think the best setting to use is transmission to track and your suspension to sport, which causes your arrow in the back to pop up, because it just looks cool, there's no need to have that in the real world. And then the most important little thing you must do is drop the backlight because that really makes the sound resonate in the cabin of the car. And it makes this car very, very loud, especially at high RPMs. Let me demonstrate. Sounds incredible. The sound just resonates inside the car, and I feel like I have to scream. Whoa! Makes my heart race. Optimal gear. So, this is a feature that's really been designed for the track as it allows you to select the optimal gear when you exit a corner. However, it's a lot of fun to use in the real world because as you slow down, you just press and hold the down paddle and you automatically rev match and go to the perfect gear and it sounds really, really cool when you do it. Let me demonstrate. Oh. It just makes you sound like a pro driver and you have to have no skill whatsoever to use it. It's a lot of fun, especially when you approach a stoplight. The convertible hardtop. When you press the button to lower the roof, if you keep that button held, even after the roof has come down, all of your windows as well will lower. So you don't have to manually lower all the windows, but that's gonna result in a lot of wind buffeting. 
switching into neutral through the paddles. So with a Ferrari, it's really easy. No matter if you are stopped at zero or going 200 miles an hour, you can switch into neutral by pulling both paddles towards you. But you can't do that in a McLaren. Either you can press the neutral button on the console, or you could use your down paddle to switch into neutral. But it only works if you are perfectly stationary. So all you have to do is press the down paddle for two seconds, and you switch into neutral. On a side note, I don't recommend that you do this, and my rule has always been to stop in first. Because when you're neutral, you're effectively mobilized, and you can't react quickly if you have to get out of a bad situation. It's something I learned when I was riding super bikes, and it's something I still practice today. Speed limit warning. So, the McLaren will warn you when you are over the speed limit. We're over the speed limit. Which you might find to be very, very annoying, which it is, but I suggest you keep this on for the first few weeks you have the car because it's very easy to get in trouble. And then, once you're familiar with the car, you can turn it off. The lift settings of the car. Lifting or lowering the McLaren is a very complicated process. In fact, it's a series of gestures from raising the control stock up, down, forward, and back, which is very, very hard to memorize. And it's like trying to memorize a cheat code from a video game. In a Ferrari or Lamborghini, it's a very simple button where you just have to click to raise or lower the vehicle. However, there is a little hack in the McLaren. In order to bypass all of these steps, all you need to do is lift the control stock up for three seconds and you're automatically into the lift settings of the car. Then it's just a simple matter of lifting the control stock up or down to lower or raise the vehicle. It's not that complicated of a process, although it could be a lot easier with just a button. But I'm not going to complain about that. So, those are my top 10 tips, tricks and hacks in the McLaren 650S. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and that way I can do another video where I show you tips, tricks and hacks which are more related to the track rather than real world driving. So thanks for watching guys, until next time.